Hey, check this out, everybody. A painting by an anonymous British artist that you might know, his name is Banksy. It's been sold for $10.4 million. That insane amount of money is the new high for the mysterious artist's work. This one is a painting of, get this, chimpanzees in the British House of Commons. Basically the UK equivalent of the House of Representatives. That's a, that's a fun little piece of art yeah. for a lot of money. And it doesn't seem like some political cartoon from like Reader's Digest totally from the does. 80s. It totally does. I read the script and that was the first time I've actually seen the image and I was like, it yeah. actually is chimpanzees. And someone paid a lot of money Parliament. for that. So well. why are we talking about Banksy? Well, you might remember he got his start with a mysterious graffiti artist installation. Mm -hmm. And now, if you ha if you believe the speculation on Reddit, Cleveland might have their very own Banksy on their hands. Andrew Horinsky has your front row look at the local mystery artist behind it all. The artist goes by the name Human Race and posts their images to Instagram once they're up. And this week, I had the pleasure of speaking with them on Instagram, though to this day, I do not know their name, race, or even their gender, and there's a reason for that. I was jogging past with Bo. You may want to consider yourself lucky if you get tagged. I, I think it's spectacular. That's art people are talking about. Infinite love is the only truth. Like Sam McNulty, owner of Market Garden, who this week oh, yeah, yeah. got this Something's different. on his door. I turned around and there it was. It just appeared out of nowhere. Making him the latest to receive the work of human race with human spelled H-U-M-E-N free of charge. I love that it's a little more renegade, a little more gorilla. Kind of compliments the other art that's in the city. For more than a year, human race has been spray painting thought-provoking images. Some would say in the style of famous street artist Banksy. And while some are political, others such as this recurring little robot holding a heart are cute. It's turning heads in a different way because people aren't familiar or used to seeing that. This is our upstairs space. That's Tommy Paul, something of a street art connoisseur and founder of the nonprofit Graffiti Heart Gallery. Each piece provides a story and an interpretation that's kind of edgy. And they like it because I think they can relate to it because of the caricatures or the messages that it sends. This week I reached out to human race who did not want to be on camera but who wrote this. My anonymity allows people to relate to my art without any interference from perceptions about the artist. It brings people together regardless of race, gender or identity. Going on to say the heart with the robot was inspired by this picture from a child. A reminder that love is powerful in a world which is often robotic and indifferent. The artist said it could take months to make the stencils, only minutes to make an installation. Adding they've never sold a piece of art and have no intention of ever doing so. This to me is, is awesome because it's enjoyed by the, the entire city, all walks of life stroll by here and, and, and see this. You can follow Human Race on Instagram and see where they've left images. Sadly, at least one we went to check out today wasn't there anymore. I also checked with the Cleveland Police Department, which told me that although a lot of these images are cute, if they're on a place where there isn't the owner's consent, the artist could technically be charged with vandalism and possibly criminal trespassing. In Cleveland, I'm Andrew Horansky, 3 News. I think that's an interesting point to raise, graffiti. Yes. Especially uh, in this city where we have some, you know, areas like I think about the red line mm -hmm. of the RTA as you come into town right. and you're going through like the walled parts of the, the track, right? And to see some color would actually be pretty nice, I think. And for a while there, they, they tried to get people to yes. do installations. It is funny, though. Graffiti is weird because if you're good at it and you're a good art, then you're an artist. Right. And if you're bad at it, then you're a felon. <laughs> like, essentially, if it looks nice, we're just like, that's art. And if it looks like crap, you're like, you're a felon just based on right. how good it is. So, but, and everything's subjective. That complicates mm -hmm. things. Um, and uh, also, I want to say that was a great story by Andrew. Yep. And he interviewed our friend Sam McNulty, who was the one wearing the vest and had a dog. And I described him just now as if Ohio City were a person that's what it would look like hi Sam